So hello friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss about Sienna 5.70 SAP service aggregation platform. You can see here, this is the self view of the Sienna 5.70 SAP. You can see here, these are the LED status, these are the different ports, this is the management console port, sync port uh, and all. So let's see, uh, you can see here, this is the slot number 1 to 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this is the port number 1 to 10. This is the port number 21 to 30. This is the port number 11 to port number 20 and port number 31 to port number 40. So these are the 40 ports which is used for the client interface or you can say for the traffic. So the 5.70 SAP service segregation platform provide the below mentioned port. So let's see how many ports are in their 5.70. So there are 40 ports. You can see 40 ports of 10 gigabyte Ethernet each. So there are 40 ports and each port has a capacity of 10 gigabyte, gigabyte Ethernet and they are using standard SFP plus optical module port number 1 to port number 40. So these 40 ports are port number 1 to port number 40 having the capacity of this 10 gigabit Ethernet and the uh, optical module is SFP plus. Four ports of 100 gig Ethernet over QSFP and QSFP 28 optical modules you can see here this is the port number 41 to port number 44 so port number 41 42 43 44 these four ports are the 100 gig ethernet port and the optical module used in this port is QSFP plus or QSFP 28 you can see here one mini quack gps 10 megahertz smb port frequency port in out this is the clock port you can see here these are the this is the clock port 1 mini coax, 1 PPS TOD SMB interface, 1 PPS, you can see this. These ports are used for the synchronization. 1 RJ45 bits in or out, TOD in or out, or 1 PPS in or out. You can see this is the bits port. This is the bits port. 1 RJ45 bits in or out, TOD in or out, or 1 PPS in or out. This is the sync port. You can see this is the sync port. 1 10 cross uh, 100 or 1000 M. RJ45 management port. You can see this is the MGMT port. This is the management port. One serial console port. RJ45. The interface is RJ45 or either EIA561. This is console. Port name is console. You can see it. One universal serial bus USB port. You can see it. This is the in between uh, the management and console. This is a USB port. So let's see um, what is the LED status means. So you can see here uh, in the selfie of Sienna 5.70, there are five LEDs, state, alarm, PSUA, PSUB and sync. So you can see here there are five LEDs. First one is the state. Second one is the alarm. Third one is the PSUA. Fourth one PSUB and fifth one is the sync. So the LED status of these five uh, ports or you can say any ports has the combination of three status on blinking and off so on means the led light is steady off means the led is off blinking means the led cycles on and off in equal time periods so let's understand about uh, different led status meaning so the state led have three indication of green and blinking green so off meaning indicates an alarm indication if the state LED is green it means the status is normal steady uh, ready the system is ready and if the state LED is blinking green it means the system is initializing and performing self test alarm if the alarm LED is yellow or sorry if the alarm LED is off it means the normal operation condition if alarm LED is yellow it means post failure port failure or any other error condition like fan failure if it is blinking yellow the same PSUA, PSUA has two LED indication off and green off. It means system is not powered on or failure has occurred on power supply A. If it is green, it means the indi it indicates the power is on and the power supply A is providing 12 volt power to the system. The same LED indication for the PSB sync. So uh, then sync has four types of uh, LED indication off, green, blinking green and yellow. If it is off, it means the system is in free run mode. If it is yellow, system is in hold, uh, holdover mode. If it is blinking green, it means it is acquiring the synchronization. And if it is green, it means the normal operations. Okay, so you can see this is the self view. And on the right hand side, you can see this is the management port. 
So RJ45 uh, port LED uh, meaning we will see. There are the two indication you can say link act and SPD. So the management port uses the RJ45 connectors and has two built in LED associated with it. They are located on the top of the management port. You can see this is the management port on the top of these are the LEDs. And link act and SPD is the name of these LED. So what is meaning of link act and SPD? What are the different uh, indication for this LED? Suppose link act has three indication off, green and blinking green. If it is off, it means the port is not operational. If it is green, it means it is a valid network connection. Blinking green, it means the transmit and receive activity. SPD, if SPD is off, port speed is 10 Mbps or uh, 100 Mbps. If SPD is yellow, it means the port speed is 1000 Mbps. You can see these are the two LED name. So this is the bits port. You can see here the RJ45 building integrated timing supply bits. The full form of the bits is the building integrated timing supply. And this is also the two LED associated with it out and in. You can see here this is the out LED. This is the in LED. So you can see here this is the bits out and this is the bits in. These are the two LED associated with this bits port. So what is it meaning? So bits out has three indication of green and blinking green. So if bits out, this bits out is green. It means the port is provisioned and enabled. If it is off, port is not provisioned or port is not active. If it is blinking green, port is in maintenance state or loopback. So bits in, the two indication for the bits in off and yellow. If it is off, no signal is present or loss is present. Yellow, input signal is being received. So you can see here there is the uh, bits in is yellow here right now in this picture. So the input signal is being received. And this is green. It means the port is provision and enable. So, uh, so you can see here these are the four ports, 100G ports. So upper arrow, you can see here the upper arrow is for the upper port and the lower arrow is for the lower port. Here like this, this upper arrow and uh, lower arrow. So 100 gig QSFP port LED, there are five LEDs. And let's see what is the meaning of this LEDs. So link act, you can see here, this, this is a link act. The name of these LEDs is link act. The upper arrow is for the upper port and the lower arrow is for the lower port. So when the link is off, it means the port is not operational or there is no link. If it is green, it is indicates a valid network connections. If it is blinking green, it means the port is currently receiving or transmitting Ethernet packets. If it is red, it means the port is in failed condition. If it is yellow, it means it indicates the line failure or the maintenance state. So CNF 5170 SAP, uh, you can see here, these are the uh, right hand side 20 ports, which each port is of 20G. You can see the port number is for 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And the uh, lower the 10 ports. So there are total 20 ports on the right hand side. Each uh, port capacity is 10 gigabit and uh, as a optical module is SFP plus. So you can see here, these are the LED status link act. So the LED status having arrow upper side is for the upper port and lower side for the lower port. So link act is off. It means the port is not operational. If it is green, it means the valid network connection. Blinking green, it means the transmit and receive activity is happening on the port. If SPD is off, port speed is 100 Mbps. If it is yellow, it means the port, GBP, port speed is 1 Gbps. This is on the left hand side, the 20 ports. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then uh, lower 10 ports. There are 20, total 20 ports on the left hand side. So again, the LED indication uh, is the same. Uh, like the right hand side LEDs. So we can skip this. So this is all about SAP 5170. Thank you.